we're just traveling and so we get to finally we got to alabama now it's the east coast so we were talking about it and i was thinking about everything so i decided that it was okay for us to drive because driving is so dangerous you don't want to just be making decisions of traveling and you know just saying yes to anybody you have to really do the math do the energy do i call it the energy math um i think they call it the energy math too so so, so here's how it works you sit down you hear the news so now you got the option of um you, you got the news so once you have the news you now either do it or you don't or you agree or you don't correct so we decided that me and um me and jay decided that it was safe to drive so this is when this is when this is when i met chambis so chambis is a mechanic here in um, carolina and i'll give you the details for that shout out to chambis because um he drove eight hours bro eight hours and it went completely fine completely fine so we pull up in alabama and i meet Josue. so here we are we're finally um in their town we're finally in alabama and we start we start um we start going we start parking and i don't know where we're at bro and once we go in we start meeting we say hi to Josue. this is where it gets amazing bro because it was like one of the best nights we've all had we were all together and we start playing pool here's the best part we're playing pool and i win the first game this was really sweet because this is the first impressions we're talking about. So shout out to the Carolina boys. Y'all already know, bro. And y'all keep going out, bro. Y'all keep having fun. And just like that, we ended up in a house, bro. It was a big house, bigger than a regular house. And um, I have no idea. So my ho my friend Jose, not Jose, Jose, my friend Jose, tries to leave with this chick and i tell him bro that's cold you can't you cannot just make other plans and just leave so i tell him you better not leave this house and he did not so we're in this house bro and he's on the on the first floor and i go to i go to the room on the second floor so i can't go to sleep i'm there with two guys the room is full so i'm thinking to myself well there's not much i could do right now i have no contacts nobody to pick me up i can go downtown maybe walk but there's no downtown nearby unless I drive. And so the owner comes home. The owner comes home and my boy gets in trouble because he's with the chick. And, you know, if you were the house owner and you come home and you see a, a, a girl and then um, um, your roommate's friend. Right. On the, and those are the only people you see on the first floor. You'll be like, why are they here? Who brought them here? And where is everybody else? So you hear to start you start hearing knocking, waking us all up, bro. We all wake up. Everybody's just like, why is somebody screaming? You know, are we getting kicked out? And then our friend Josue, the roommate, calms everything down, bro, and everything just basically the morning arrives from there. And um don't know how we ended up like that. And um never slept. Never slept, you know. Um slept the next day. Felt great. Um I just, there's a problem with me, y'all. I cannot sleep at somebody else's house. I just can't do it, okay? It is dangerous. You cannot fall asleep uh, just randomly. It's like uh, you can't take a sip these days randomly, all right? It doesn't matter. If... Anyways, back to the point. Stay safe, don't fall asleep, and keep traveling, keep visiting, and invite people over stay contacted stay very contacted that'll keep you smiling keep going forward